We are here today at Electronica to show you the very first tangible outcome of the Software Republic Initiative. It, here is the Mobilize Power Box. It's an innovative technology demonstrator addressing several key objectives in Europe to facilitate access to recharging for all users of EVs, to contribute to intelligent management of electricity networks, to provide a solution to the cybersecurity risks in the integration of EV charging networks, and to strengthen the industrial and technological sovereignty of this new market segment. Before going further into the feature set of this power box, let me explain a bit what the Software Republic is. It is a European collaborative ecosystem enabling secure and sustainable mobility. It was founded by six leading companies, Atos, Dassault System, Orange, Renault Group, ST Microelectronics, and Thales. We aim to provide people with comprehensive offers from user interface to energy management for all new mobility means. This power box is included in one of the major streams of the software republic, which is focusing on energy. The goal of this stream is to improve EV driver experience, open the gateway to energy, and create a new EV community. Now, Coming back to this object, the mobilized power box from Software Republic. As you may have understood, it is a charging station with a power range of 7 to 22 kilowatts, integrating the expertise of four companies. Orange for 4G telecommunication and other related services. The Renault Group for the architecture of electrical vehicle charging systems. ST Microelectronics for semiconductors with our microprocessor and communication coprocessor, which are at the heart of this interoperable solution capable of providing intelligent charging services, especially bidirectional, and here I mean vehicle-to-grid charging. And finally, Thales, for cyber security and data protection. You may tell me, great, another charging station. Actually, this power box integrates a bidirectional version, allowing to storage capacity of vehicles Lion battery to be used as an energy source. Without impacting the autonomy required for mobility and with complete simplicity, the system will make it possible to control the flow of energy, to improve the rate of use of renewable energy, and to support the electricity network by rejecting energy into it when needed. What is amazing here is that the scalable adaptive charging station can transform a vehicle into a power plant. 50,000 systems of this type combined produce the equivalent of a power plant and can thus replace fossil fuel production. Thus, each owner of the mobile, mobilized power box, V2G charging station at home, becomes an actor of the ecological transition. The project's members also team with other technology partners for their expertise, including Ayoteca Corp for the electronic design of the charging station, and Lacroix for its manufacture at Symbios, its new factory of the future in France. And of course, the big question is when will it be available? And I'm glad to say that the mobilized power box range will be marketed in 2023. And if we want to talk about ST's contribution in some more details, our STM32 MP1 microprocessor is an open platform for the development of industry applications that are critical in terms of performance and security. It allows users the flexibility to develop their solution based on open source software while combining real-time management and low power consumption. The use of, of open ST Linux distribution and the STM32 cube ecosystem also significantly reduces time development lead time. Moreover, the ST2100 is a communication device optimized for the smart building market and designed to allow the easy integration of the new protocols such as ISO 1511A based on the Linux architecture. It efficiently covers the use case of the connected charging station, thanks to the expertise of Ayoteca Corp, a partner who ensures the development and maintenance of the services inherent to a connected charging station. Thank you.